Hey Biscuits! Welcome back to the channel. So today I want to share some of my cozy tips for cleaning. Ways that I bring in Huga, that Danish idea of cozy, warm nooks in your home, in your day, creating spaces in your life and in your home to make yourself feel cozier this time of year. When it's a little darker and rainier, at least where I live, it's been raining for quite a while now. <laughs> so we're, we're definitely into the thick of it. Well, not the thick of it, the beginning of it that feels like the thick of it, and then you realize you have six to eight more months of cold weather because it's just starting. In my mind, it's the thick of it, and then like November, the sun will come out. That's a lie I tell myself. <laughs> so these are all ways that I make my cleaning routine feel cozier and more fun for me so that I enjoy cleaning more. Because I do, I actually, I love having a clean space and I actually really like the process of cleaning. It's very focused and calming and almost a little playfully meditative I would say because you really are on this one task and you're focusing on it and you move on to the next and you have this lovely thing that you created which is a clean space, a clean home. So these are ways that I cozy up my cleaning routine. I love to put on good music. You've seen how much I love to dance. I love to dance when I'm folding laundry or just when I'm mopping the floors. It makes it so much more fun for me. It gives me a workout and it makes me have a good time cleaning. So find music that you like. Not music that you think you should like <laughs> or music that you think is up to the caliber that you need. I listen to cheesy pop music that's probably targeted to like 14 year old girls but I enjoy it and I shake my tail feathers as my son would say and have a good time with it. So pick out music, blast it on up and you know what? You're gonna move around a little bit actually, you're gonna be warmer. So this time of year that's really nice. You don't wanna be cold when you're cleaning. So it's a great idea to move around because honestly, I can't even wear sweaters when I'm cleaning even in winter most of the time because I'm moving so much that I just get sweaty. Which brings me to the second part of how I kind of bring the hookah into my cleaning routine, which is, I know, wild and crazy, but wear something comfortable, whatever that might be. I tend to wear capris or shorts with a t-shirt um, really year-round because I'm sweating and moving all over and I need to be able to kind of, it's almost like exercise, right? You want to be in your workout gear, your ath ath your leisure, what is it? Athlete leisure? What is that called? It's the athletic leisure wear. You tell me, tell me in the comments. <laughs> but you want to be prepared for working out and getting all that done. And so I just like to put on things that make me feel cozy and that make me feel happy. And that makes it so much more enjoyable to clean because I'm not in something constrictive or something that is just not practical for getting on your hands and knees and scrubbing something. So I have lots of hair as you may notice. <laughs> um, and frequently I will put on a headband to keep my hair out of my face. And you know what? I have a huge collection of headbands. I love headbands. They've gone in and out of style over time, but I think they're forever style. They're practical. I love to get sparkly fall ones, or in the springtime, I might wear a fun little Easter bunny kind of one. And that always makes me happy. So find something, pull your hair back with, and it's just gonna, you know, not irritate you as much as you're going through your day when you're cleaning. Because part of your cleaning routine is you don't wanna have to think about, oh, did I just pit? Windex in my hair by brushing it back, right? That is something that I've learned through trial and error. A good headband goes a long way. So maybe you don't want to listen to music. Maybe you're like, I don't dance, Rose. Do I look like someone that dances while I sleep? Only like crazy people do that. <laughs> in that case, you can put on a good podcast, a great audiobook. Um, when I go to the gym, I listen to a lot of podcasts actually. But sometimes, you know, if I'm not feeling the dance vibes and the music on, I'll stick on a podcast instead, listen to some news, or maybe listen to a history podcast. And that can be a really fun way, especially if maybe you have a favorite part of the world that you really love the history of, and that makes you feel cozy and warm. And this time of year, you're just, oh, I want to listen to autumn themed stories of a certain location. That can be a great way to bring in that cozy vibe. Oh, what? Do I like, do I like sparkle? No. Sparkle lights me. That's right, this time of year, it is dark and rainy. Um, it started raining the very beginning of September and it is just, it's going straight through. <laughs> so when it is this dark and rainy, I like to put on sparkly lights. I'll put on all the lights in my house when I'm cleaning so that it is bright and cheery and I don't feel like I am cleaning a cave because that's not cozy, that's not warm. Um, I think it's a really nice way to just toasty it up 
and make it fun and beautiful. Mm -hmm. I hope that these are ways that inspire you to enjoy cleaning. I know that's such a crazy idea, right? But it doesn't have to be some horrible part of your day that you go, oh, why did I even think I should have cleaned? I'm just going to let it fall into the disrepair and be a pet, right? We all want to clean beautiful space. It's good for our mental health. It's good for our bodies because we aren't bringing in dust. We aren't bringing in dirt from the outside, right? We have a clean, beautiful home. But it's also just fun to go through the process because caretaking and tending to your home is such a powerful, calming reminder of what we do have control over in life. And I know that so many people suffer from so much anxiety right now because we have so many things to do and we have so little control over the outcome or what needs to be done. And cleaning is a beautiful way to reduce some of that anxiety. A cleaner house you're going to be less anxious in. And also the process of it. You're releasing endorphins while you exercise cleaning. And it's also beautifully meditative while you clean. While you focus on tasks. You don't let your mind wander too much. You should listen to your podcast or you listen to music. And that's also going to bring down your anxiety levels. Which can be really powerful in boosting your mood during the fall. When, you know, it's kind of easy to kind of fall into a bit of a grumpy mood. Because it's not as sunny or warm anymore. Hey, I will see you all over. Thank you so much for being such wonderful, lovely subscribers on here and beautiful biscuits. You can follow me on Instagram. And if you haven't already, click down in the description box, head on over to my merch store. You can buy teas and mugs and really fun trucker hats that I've all designed on there. And I love seeing your messages that you enjoy wearing them or carrying around some of my tote bags. Thank you so much. I will see you all around. Hey, stay cozy and stay clean. Thank you.